everybody, uh, Tommy here. It's been a while. I need to start making more of these videos. It's been crazy busy. Um, since Talladega, I worked the race on the weekend. I went down to, I uh, actually had dinner in uh, Birmingham with some CFers and the uh, director of the Alabama chapter. Then I went down to Montgomery. I uh, got to meet an awesome family, and uh, we threw out the first pitch at the Montgomery Biscuits game. We did a uh, uh, interview for a newspaper and for a TV station, which turned out great. Uh, fantastic interview, and we we spread the uh, the word and awareness about cystic fibrosis. Uh, it was a pretty good turnout. I think it was like dollar dogs or something. So anytime they have like dollar dogs at these minor league games, a lot of people come out. So hopefully we affected a lot of people. Uh, it was just really cool to see a lot of people there. And even though I can't seem to throw a strike now uh, on these first pitches, uh, I'll work on it. Uh, practice makes perfect. So after that, I headed to uh, Atlanta and spent a day with my buddy, Robert the Great. You guys know he ran the last 100 miles with me. If you came to the end of the run, you probably got to meet him. Uh, he lives around Atlanta, so I hung out with him. And then I had to head over to Darlington. And from there... I, uh, I worked for Geico, another one of the clients I work for, at the Darlington NASCAR race, and it was a lot of fun. Got to meet some cool new people, spread the word about the run, spread the word about the foundation, and spread the word about cystic fibrosis. So uh, it was really rad to meet a lot of you guys out there. So if you're watching this, hopefully uh, you can see it. And uh, it was great meeting you guys in Darlington. And I got to see some old friends as well. Now, after that, literally I had to work all day, break down our setup display, um, which I, we knocked out real quick. I want to say three hours. And then I drove back to Rob's house. I had to do laundry in the middle of the night. And then I had a flight to jump on um, from here to Alaska. And you're going, Alaska? What's up in Alaska? Well, one, uh, I'm going to say Alaska is a beautiful country. Uh, two, Alaska has a beautiful woman uh, that I had been talking to. So I went up there, uh, spent six days with Alex. And uh, she is just amazing, rad chick, very cool, and officially my girlfriend. It's Facebook official, so it wasn't official until it's on Facebook. I think that's the law in Alaska and the rest of the uh, 49 states. I could be wrong. But anyway, we had a blast. We did some hiking. Uh, we got to hang out with a bunch of cool friends. Uh, we checked out some cool breweries in uh, the area. Oh, I got glasses. So Alex is an awesome optometrist up there in Anchorage. And now I can see beyond my computer screen. Uh, at nighttime, I'd be like, la da da dee, I just need exit 12, la da da da, exit 12, 12, 12, there it is. Uh, now with these, I can see. So it's good. Um, also, got a double root canal. Uh huh, eye out here. So got that taken care of. Uh, thank you uh, to the dentist, uh, Dr. Ursland. Uh, and uh, you rocked it out, man. And, uh, of course, Dr. Mori, which is Alex, and Maycare, uh, Eyewear, and Eye Care. Uh, thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it for taking care of me and helping me see my future adventures and making this tooth pain go away because this tooth uh, actually, like, kind of, like, chip broke, fell out in September of the run. So I've been dealing with some serious pain because every time cold hits it or anything like that... Uh, it shoots a pain into my brain, and it hurts. Um, other than that, uh, we just got to relax and hang out and hang out. Her little puppy, Boo, is this little Maltese, and I love that little dog. Uh, we had a blast. Got to meet some cool people, uh, Rich and Ryan and Michelle, Leanne, um, Scott, Becky, Doug. Scott's wife's name is come to me. I don't, it's not coming into my head, but I love you guys all, uh, a couple of them are like, uh, Scott and his wife are building a cabin, like, in the woods, like, chop down tree, you know, carve down the wood, build the house, it's rad, so I hope, I'm hoping I can go up there in September and help them out, um, so after that, I had to fly back to Indiana, I had to speak at a 5k in my hometown, I uh, got to meet some other followers. Uh, it was great times. Got some cool donations that came in. Thank you, Vincent, Misty. <clears throat> um, and then uh, I was home for a couple days, and then I have I had to fly down to Atlanta yesterday 
here, uh, this is where my van is, and then I hopped, uh, I, I try to go to the run club when I'm in town. Uh, there's a huge run club. We handed out flyers for the, the Last Mile, which is a documentary I was featured in. Uh, and it's it's online. You can get it. Um, it's only nine bucks at Vimeo. It's called The Last Mile, and it's about to come out on DVD. We're also having our first screening this Sunday coming up in Fort Wayne, Indiana, May 26th at 6:30 p.m. at the Cinema Center. So much stuff going on. So I'll be here till Thursday morning. I'll head out to uh, Florence, Kentucky, where I'm going to meet. Uh, I'm going to throw out a pinch, a pitch, the first pitch for the Florence Freedom, and then. Uh, get to hang out with some cool CF families and possibly do lunch the next day uh, in the area. Well, we're definitely doing lunch. And then after that, I have to drive up to Chicago, pick up Alex, my girlfriend. Uh, she's coming to visit and be here for the screening. So she's flying in from Alaska. She's going to meet the family, which could get a little crazy. She's going to meet the friends, the quad pod, and everyone involved. Um, so I'm really excited about that. She's going to be here a couple days. And then after that, I don't even remember where I bounced to. But um, we're having fun with it, and we're enjoying it, and we're raising a ton of awareness for cystic fibrosis. Just just because the run is over doesn't mean I stop talking about it. Matter of fact, I just got some new... I had some of these, had these uh, Beats by Dre, but I had lost them on the plane. So the new ones you get, what do we rock out? Purple. And then I threw my logo on the side. See? Like that? Like that? So yeah, um, also we got more than just mountains uh, coming up November, we're hoping is the first climb which is in um, Kilimanjaro, uh, we're working on the details with that right now, uh, figure, figure out all the details, trying to raise money for that. Um, I'll be doing some CF events all across the country so please follow along on the Facebook page, that's where a lot of the announcements will be. If you want me to pop out to your area, I can check my schedule and see if I can make it, see if it's in the budget. If it not, if not, we can chat. Um, but please email me, tommy at mtjm.org. Um, I'm looking to speak at a lot of schools this fall, and I, I can speak about all kinds of different things uh, in my life. Uh, I've gone through quite a bit. Um, but please email me if you want me to come speak to your school. I promise I am a cheap motivational speaker. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'll rock it out and we'll have a lot of fun and we can even possibly do dinner or something like that while I'm in and around the area. Um, other than that, just keep following along. Uh, I know it's it's difficult now because I'm not blogging every day, which I think I might start blogging, but I am writing the book. Um, I'm trying to keep up with a bunch of stuff. Uh, I'm finally, I feel like I'm finally getting caught up, which is great. Um, and then we got other people involved, amazing volunteers. We got, of course, all the... Uh, more than just me staff that is all pro bono they donate all the time and of course we release the more than just fit um, campaign where if you guys are looking to you know figure out how to eat healthier or work out or both we have two amazing trainers Mindy and Jeremy Bringhurst uh, they're based out of Utah but we're doing all this through email and uh, they are amazing CrossFit super in shape I don't like standing next to them because I feel fat um, but they're awesome, and they're very kind-hearted, and they're always there for you, along um, as well as the rest of us here at the foundation. Um, we're also working out other details. We're trying to get some grants to come in and everything. So keep following along. Uh, this is getting a little long, but I just I had to catch up. Uh, and you're gonna start seeing more videos. I'm actually gonna start filming um, some other rad stuff. I just got the new GoPro 3. Um, we tried to get GoPro to sponsor, but it was just taking them too long. But we're going to be doing a lot of filming with that, uh, adventure filming, and uh, I'm really excited. Going to be doing some interviews, too. Going to go meet with um, one of my followers for lunch today. And I'm really excited, uh, Kirsten Black, to hang out and chit-chat about cystic fibrosis and spread the word. So check out The Last Mile, follow the Facebook page, tell your friends, let's spread. It's May. This is the month for cystic fibrosis. Let's spread the word. Let's find a cure. Let's make CF stand for Cure Found. And I will talk to you guys later. Have a great day.